Hey you guys, thanks so much for coming back to Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward, hanging out with Imbar Levy and Jared Kuznets. You know him. <laughs> He's been on the show before, and it's yeah. so lovely to meet you. Oh, lovely to meet you, too. Thanks for having me. So, Underemployed is finally, finally here. Um, rewind back. Any favorite memories from shooting in Chicago? Yeah, a lot. We, <clears throat> we, got, we got to really create a cool family unit which is one of my favorite things about shooting a TV show. Mm -hmm. And we got to be out there in Chicago, which is a rad city, and experience it with a group of friends who turned into family. Mm -hmm. So we, we obviously have a bunch of cool memories from that four months, those magical four months. True that. She's from Chicago. Are good you? memory, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I heard uh, you guys got some good pizza. Maybe oh, partied yeah. a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, we did. What stands out we to did. you, Jared? Uh, what stands out to me, I love all of the <laughs> the the uh, construction that happened <laughs> out there. Uh, I really enjoyed the bloopers that we that we have from from the season because oh. you know it's just sometimes that you 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 get into you get to work and the day is really long and you're getting really tired but you still have to have to focus and then mm -hmm. you break and it's just like ah oh, it's so it's so relaxing because you realize oh yeah this is why i got into the business because it's mm -hmm. fun you have fun doing what you love to do and so there are plenty of bloopers this season that hopefully will be on like a DVD or something that the yeah. audience will get to, will and get to like, enjoy. I don't know. He's really pushing for it. Yeah. No, yeah. it will be great. They, him and Diego really oh. played around a lot. They're, Can't keep it together. They're very childish at times when the, the <laughs> clock is ticking and everyone's just exhausted and they just have to make another joke and <laughs> make another entrance. And another. Yeah. yeah. It's, okay. it's, it was funny and it was, you know, it was good to keep everything fresh and relaxed. It was nice. Well, I feel like the chemistry between all of you guys really showed, show, was shown off in the trailer that I got to see. Um, have you guys seen this first episode yet? Yeah, we yeah. have. Okay, yeah. so they... bring us up to speed. What, are, what can viewers expect with this debut of the show? Um, October 16th, by the way, at 10 p.m. Yeah. on nice. MTV. Nicely Watch done. it. Uh, what can they expect? They can expect. Um, like, what are, if someone isn't familiar with what the show's about, what are they going to be put into? Well, the show is about five college graduates who come out into the world with a lot of excitement to, to conquer it and run into reality. And mm -hmm. it doesn't really work out the way they'd mm -hmm. hoped. And... I think the show would really capture the essence of what it's like to be in a big city, chase after your dreams, and get knocked down again and again and again by reality, mm -hmm. especially in today's economy, oh, really? and how they find laughter and light with the people around them, and mm -hmm. they turn into a family. They, they go to their friends for support. So I think that's... In a nutshell, <laughs> the yeah. pistachio. Yeah. Of, it's in a pistachio. Of, it's in a pistachio yeah. of a show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that I think they can just expect to see from the first episode. They can. Uh, they'll they'll get to meet all of us and see, mm -hmm. you know, who they immediately gravitate towards, and they'll just see uh, the immediate struggle that maybe they're going through at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I know, it's like school just started up, so. You know, they might be like, oh man, that's what I have to look forward to, but it's it's gonna be fresh and exciting and, and cool for them, hopefully. And there there's some surprises in the in the first episode, some some life life changing details. Are we are we talking about the surprise between the two of you? I'm is talking this, about the surprise between the two of us. Is yeah. this like <laughs> is this spoiler alert? Can I know. we talk about this? I don't know. Can we talk about Can this we? people? Can we? We can. We. I think so. We, I read okay, about yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. Break it down then for our viewers game. quickly. Who your characters are and why is there such a strong connection in the room right now between you two? <laughs> Via your characters, of course. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, I play Raviva, and Raviva is a musician. She's uh, 
She's very passionate about a lot of things, about her dreams and about what she believes in and about her, the people in her life and about Rosemary, who's... Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. A surprise. Uh, a kid. A yeah. baby. Yeah, a kid. yeah, we have... A, a, little, baby. a little baby. A little baby. Yeah, baby. 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 She's preggers, and then it just happens. <laughs> we, have a, we have a baby. Uh, so what's going on with your relationship when you find out about this, and how does it change from there on out? Uh, well, this for... Is acting. For Lou... It's not real life. We take Lou, this seriously. <laughs> for Lou, it's pretty much a, a complete surprise. She just shows up out of the blue after nine months and she's like hey guess what I I'm having a baby and it's yours and funny story yeah yeah <laughs> like this thing I just woke up and it was there and I didn't tell you about it so then Lou sort of has to figure out okay well now how do I put how do I still go about doing what I want to do with my life but maintain a family and mm -hmm. be be the the provider and bring home the bacon so that's what that's Lou's struggle from from there, and then you see you see the choice he makes, and sometimes it's not the right one, and mm -hmm. sometimes uh, sometimes Ooh. sometimes <laughs> Lou's awesome. Other other than that, he's great. Yeah, and yeah. I imagine you had to wear some sort of costume or something. I did. What, what was it like working with? What, the suit or the, the bump suit. or whatever it's or called. Or Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> we, no. called, we called the baby doll uh, Zelda when, when yeah. we were dealing with the doll. Pretty creepy. Oh, okay. Pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've played pregnant in the past in mm -hmm. a few different projects, and I never got to play a mother. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was really, really challenging and, and wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just wanted to make sure that I would capture motherhood in the sense of how big of a juggle act it really is and how <clears throat> you have to take care of so many things at once. And motherhood is just so incredibly hard as it is. Unexpected motherhood mm -hmm. is a whole other ball game. And I think her being 20-something, trying to figure out what she wants to do, and then trying to figure out what she's gonna do with this other human being, mm -hmm. it is is just, is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> it was just really, really uh, challenging and wonderful. Well, there are lots of challenges in life, especially when you're 20-something, and I feel like this show is gonna do a really great job of kind of putting them all out there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm asking everyone, Favorite job, worst job, first job? I know you've probably had a lot of time to think about this, <laughs> being on a show called Underemployed. <laughs> yeah. But we've heard some good stories so far. She's got some good ones. Oh, Inbox, please tell. I have Listen, to... he, he walks around with me and I get asked this question and every time I come up with another story and he's probably going in his head, how many jobs does this person actually have? No, I'm gonna, I need to make one up though. Just make one up. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you one that you haven't heard yet. Oh. I was working at a Treats. restaurant in New York City, in Manhattan. It was called Jerusalem Grill. And I was working there for a month, and I was renting a place in Harlem. And yeah, it was nasty. It was my first place in the States. I just came back from, I just came from Israel. Mm -hmm. And I was working at this place for a month. And every day, every week, I would come to the owner and I'd be like, where's my money, yo? And he'd be like, I don't have it right now. I'll give it to you at the end of the week. And another week would go and another week would go. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month, I owed money for rent. And I came to him and I was like, yo, what's up? And just like that, that's what I did. <laughs> She'd and seen it on MTV before. He, and he she... literally looks at me and he goes, sorry, we're closing shop, we're going under, and I don't have the money. <gasps> and so I, mm. I, I didn't know what to do, obviously. Yeah. I could be like, I know where you live. I couldn't say anything. I know where your restaurant is. Yeah. No. I was 17 years old and I, I didn't know what to do and I just went back home and kind of had to pack my bags and get out of my place because I couldn't afford rent. So I really do know what it's like to, to, mm -hmm. to be out there and, and struggle and hustle and, and, and 
not not to know what you're going to do tomorrow or the next hour. Wow. I know how frustrating it is, but but I know that from those moments, the best comedy can come, and mm -hmm. the, the the best things in life you you get to appreciate them even more like your friends and who's there for you and who would be there to to say here you go babe here's a 20 buy yourself a hot dog or you know come stay at my at my place crash in my sofa and and you'll be okay um so i think i think i don't know that that would be a a, a bad a bad job for me yeah yeah and i know you guys got to run in a second but have you thought of a good bad job I thought of a of a sweet job. It's not a uh, it's not a job that uh, comes with an income, but it fills the heart because uh, my my friend had a kid and he named me one of the Godfathers, and so I feel like there's a there's a lot of responsibility that I have there, and I get to you know be a part of this kid's life where he's seeing everything for the first time, and I can impart wisdom and I just get to see how everything how he grows up what he what he turns into what he what are the things that he's gonna enjoy when he gets older how is he gonna think is he you know is 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 he gonna have this great outlook on life or is he gonna be very uh, like is he gonna be shy is he gonna be outgoing so I feel like that's a that's a cool job that I have right now that I'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with even though it, it doesn't pay you know it pays with happiness exactly yeah, sometimes the best things in life are free yep it's true <laughs> true well, that thank you guys so much for filling us in a little bit more about You're welcome. the show i have to show you something oh what okay this has been staring at me oh this entire time <laughs> I don't know if this will get clear. Please tell our viewers what it is. I just want to is show you. Is that the Hoff? <laughs> yes. Is that David Hasselhoff? It's like from 40 years ago. I've been trying to, 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 to keep it together, and it's been it's been pretty hard. Look at this. Oh, look full at this house. Look. Oh. Maybe full Underemployed house, will become a book one day. This is awesome. And you guys will be looking at yourselves next time we do an interview in here. This With is, cool froze This is and the best. David Hasselhoff, I love you if you're out David there. David Hasselhoff. And he might just be making a guest appearance on this first on this season show. of Underemployed. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you guys for checking out Clever TV. Make sure you check out this brand new awesome MTV show. It's coming out October 16th at 10 p.m. on MTV. I'm Dana Ward with Jared and Inbar. You know these guys. If you don't, you will soon. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.